Yeah, and I'm going to sell the guy that the Bears sold so that they could get David Montgomery, and that is Jordan Howard. Oh, you're going to sell him. I'm actively buying him. This is a perfect conversation then. Yeah, Because Jordan Howard can be sold. He is a quality running back right now who's the goal line back, who's got touchdowns in back-to-back games, has looked awesome. People will be buying Jordan Howard like Andy. Yep. But here's the thing. Last two games. Back-to-back-to-back games, Jason. uh, You forgot it to back. Okay, I forgot Mm. it to back. Uh, But. Tuberculosis. You know, back-to-back-to-back. Uh, the the Packers and the Jets, a big part of the back-to-back-to-back. The schedule coming up for uh, Jordan Howard is not good. Cowboys, Bills, Bears, Patriots for the next month. I'm not loving that matchup. I don't think Jordan Howard is just going to all of a sudden take over and keep getting better as the season goes on. If anything, you know, rookies tend to get better as – Time goes on. They learn the offense. Miles Sanders could get more involved. Jordan Howard isn't a must ship, but he's a guy that if I can capitalize on him being really good over the last few weeks, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to to try to flip someone like Jordan Howard because I don't believe that Jordan Howard stays where he's been the last three weeks. Yeah, and I I would be buying him from you. You can come find me. I I think Jordan Howard, Doug Peterson, the comments he's made about him, he said he's his lead back. This is an offense that's going to improve with Deshaun Jackson coming back, more goal line opportunities. Howard has been one of the most effective goal line backs in football for years now, and he's on a great football team. So I think if I know I'm getting 13 to 15 carries from Jordan Howard on a team that I believe in and he's around the goal line, I'm trying to buy him because people think, oh, wow, he's he's stumbled into – these touchdowns and regressions coming, and maybe it does against some of those opponents, but I'm actually buying. Mike, I'd love to hear you weigh in. I think I can get him cheap. That's why I'm going after him. I think you can get him cheap, and if you, in fact, can, then I'm somewhat interested. But that schedule, that's a, that's a gauntlet for not, not just Jordan Howard, but Philadelphia in general. So I'm concerned. We had a Foot Clan person, Curtis Stewart, on Facebook. He says, what you know, would he give up Josh Gordon to get Jordan Howard straight up? He's an Eagles fan, so I want him. These, by the way, that's, that's yep. kind of what you need to pay attention to in your league sometimes. That that That's a team-dependent trade to me. I mean, if you have enough wide receivers to give up Josh Gordon, I think that's fine. I don't think Jordan Howard is a guarantee of production, but I'm looking at him saying, hey, if he continues to emerge, he's run well. I don't know. Yeah, whenever it's a wide receiver for a running back, it's always team dependent. You, you, we can't advise anybody trade away a running back. Like I, I'm buying Josh Gordon and I'm selling Jordan Howard, so this is perfect for me. But we can't just tell everybody out there, yeah, do that deal, because if that leaves you with a hole at running back, that's never going to be good. I would rather take Jordan Howard and some other good piece to try to flip into Lev Bell or something like that. And to, to piggyback on that, make sure your running back situation is stout. I, I have been answering a lot of trade questions recently where, okay, I'm going to trade this running back away for this wide receiver because I'm solid here. And then you're left with two pretty good running backs and a, and a third guy you can sort of start. Like that's You're not good then. You're not good at running back. And because you have, you have the bye weeks coming up, and you have one injury to the position that gets hurt the most, and you're hosed, man. So don't don't view two decent starters and one backup option as being stout at running back. Know that you are taking a chance by by living that life. Hey, thanks for watching. And those were just the highlights. Highlights, lowlights, like <laughs> you you decide. But you can't decide unless you click subscribe.